Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video. Um, apologies for the glare on my glasses, it is a bit of a dull day outside so I've put my artificial light on. Um, but I um, had a request to show my Mulberry Anthony bag and do a bit of a what's in my bag to show you what you can actually fit in here um, from someone who watched my unboxing video of this bag. Um, now, a bit of history on the Anthony bag. It is Mulberry's original men's bag. Um, it is also now very popular with women too. You know, bags don't have a gender. Anyone can wear them. Um, but this bag um, is a classic bag for men. It's like a small messenger bag. And um, I absolutely love it. I love the colour of it. I still love it now. Um, the unboxing video was only published, I believe, uh, did I publish it in the summer of this, of 2023? Either way, I actually look back at when I purchased it, and I purchased it at the end of August 2022. So, um, we are almost two years down the line from then, and I still love this bag equally as much as I did the day that I bought it. Um, you may know that I've previously had two other Mulberry bags, which I've sold both of them, because even though I loved them, I didn't use them, they weren't quite functional for me, um, for whatever reason, I've talked about that in previous videos, but this bag I use on a very regular basis, and you can't actually tell. So, almost two years on, again, sorry for the glare from the artificial light, but there is perhaps one or two very small scratches on the clasp. But besides that, the rest of the bag has held up beautifully, the leather has softened more, um, the strap's still in great condition, it's not frayed, and um, yeah, this is like I said, a decent amount of use. I don't use it every day, but more often than not, when I'm going out, I take it with me. If I'm going out to meet friends for drinks, or if I'm going out shopping, or for dinner, um, but it's not, I wouldn't take it to work. So um, yeah, gets used, I'd say like, usually a weekly basis. Um, but anyway, so this, the whole point of this video is to show you what I can fit inside it and what I do fit inside it on a regular basis. And what I'll start off by saying is that I can fit more in it than I currently have. Um, so I've just come back from my day out and I thought I'd show you what I keep in here. Now, the first thing, I'll admit I don't usually do this, but if we open the bag, at the front here we have this little pocket. And in it is a card holder that matches the bag. So the colour is called Cloud, for anyone who doesn't know. And the bag is, I'm pretty sure it's made so that the card holder fits nicely in the front there. But as a um, as a male who wears male clothing and has decently deep pockets, the card holder usually lives in my pocket. But it's got um, four card slots on it. So I've got my Oyster, my driver's licence, my work access card and my debit card. And then it has the slot in the top if I have any cash, which at the moment, I don't. Um, and what I will say is, um, this is very hard wearing because this accidentally ended up in my parents' washing machine at the weekend. Thankfully, only on a 30. And um, you really can't tell. It's still in pristine condition. None of the um, writing has washed off or rubbed off. The same with the little Mulberry logo on the back. So yeah, that's a, a testament to its hard wearingness. And... It still has that beautiful smell of buttery leather, which I know some people don't like, but I love. So that's the first thing, because usually in that front pocket, which I'm just going to show you, like I've still got space in this bag for more stuff than what I'm about to show you, but usually in that front pocket are where my keys go. So I'll give you another look in there. You can see there's still quite a bit of space if I wanted to use it. So the first thing that I have is a little packet of paracetamol. I have a packet of tissues. The next thing I have is probably the most important thing in there, and this is quite a big item, is my portable charger and my cable. I'm filming on my phone now, and my phone's getting towards being two years old. In fact, two years old this month. And the battery on it, is really not great so I always have to have my portable charger on me and more often than not that's why I take my bag out because putting this in a pocket is very bulky so having a bag is much easier um, and to be honest with you most of the stuff in my bag usually goes unused like the I don't think I've used either of these in the time they've been sat in this bag they're just handy to have just in case um, I also have my Sony 
earphones. These are the it's like WXMH 1003, something like that. These are quite old now. I bought these in 2020. Uh, started the lockdown so four years ago and they're still going strong so i'd highly recommend sony earphones i also have um whilst i'm here i have the sony headphones these are the next generation these are the 1004 headphones which i bought when i went to bali last summer and these are also fantastic um personally i rate sony um earphones and headphones far more than apple anyway and the final thing i can put in there is this big old box of tic tacs let's keep my breath Fresh. Well, to be honest, I don't know how much good TikToks actually do for your breath, but I just put TikToks, Tic Tacs. That's a sign of the times, isn't it? Um, I actually bought these for nostalgia because I haven't had them since I was a kid. So, basically, I can fit all of that in there, along with card holder and keys. But, for example, I have one of these small totes umbrellas, and that... Um, fits in there perfectly like it's you can stand it up on its end and it's not even quite as tall as the bag so you really is quite a versatile bag so this is the the small ante this isn't the regular sized ones the regular sized one you know if you were a lady that preferred um, a wallet a zip around purse that probably wouldn't fit in here but it would fit in the bigger one um, but for me this is a perfect size it sits on my hip really nicely I didn't want anything bigger because it would be basically the same width as me then and that's just i didn't want it to look like i had a messenger bag i wanted a smaller um sort of shoulder bag i guess crossbody um again this still smells beautiful and like i say it's held up so so well to say that i've been using it every week for almost two years um but yeah it i can basically fit whatever i need to in it i've never being able to never had to not take it out because I can't fit what I need in it. So unless you know you've got a massive purse or a load of medication you always need to have on you, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else. Everyone has different needs, but um, I think it's a pretty versatile bag. Um, so yeah, I, that's all I've got to say on it really. If you have any other questions about it, do ask. But um, all in all, very much doubt I will ever be selling this bag, or certainly not anytime soon. Um, like I say, I've had two of the Mulberry bags and this is the only one that I've kept. Um, the other two I used like twice each um, and then sold because I just was not using them. But that is such a versatile bag. I absolutely love it and I'm so pleased with it. I would say it's a really worthwhile purchase for me personally. Um, and I've also found as well the colour. When I first bought it, I was a bit worried in case I wouldn't be able to pair it with outfits. But to be honest, even though it's a blue it's quite a neutral shade of blue so you can pair it with most stuff and what it really what i really do like to wear it with is my burberry trench coat because i find that this against <clears throat> excuse me the stony beige color of my burberry trench um looks really nice or well, I, I really like that together anyway so yeah that's everything i've got to tell you on it hope that was relatively useful um and yeah, I will see you all again soon with a different video.